What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh Washburn of Washburn Fabco and today we have another Yes Welder welding machine that we got here today to do a review on. They did not send me this one. We paid for this one. My dad actually bought this to keep at his house and he gave it to me to do a review on before he starts using it. This is a Yes Welder multi-process MIG, TIG and stick welder. It is the Yes Welder 205 DS which is probably the most common Yes Welder machine that they have. I run the 250 Pro. I only bought that because it was a higher amperage at the time but I don't really think it's going to be too different on the weldability between the two machines. Alright let's get this box opened up. All right, we got it out the box, and this looks really similar to the uh, MIG Pro 250 that I have. It's, I mean, on the outside, it's almost identical besides the handle up top looks a little different, and the actual uh, faceplate right here is not full digital. It does have a digital readout for your amperage and wire feed speed, but then all the other settings and stuff is uh, has lights next to the settings. We have a box full of accessories here. Let's take a closer look at that and see what it comes with. It says right on here what we actually have inside this box. It shows that we got a MIG gun that's 10 foot. We have a power cord adapter and electrode holder for stick welding. A ground work clamp which is 10 feet and 8 foot gas hose. And then we have a couple different options for wire feeders, depending on if you're running aluminum wire, flux core, or regular solid wire. And it says it actually has a graphene MIG liner, which is for welding with aluminum. Here's our ground clamp. Same thing you'll see on like all these ES welders. Here's our stick weld and electrode holder. We have an adapter to run 110 or 220 off this machine. Here's the gas hose. Here's the MIG whip and they must have changed it since I bought mine because this is a different uh, handle on this torch body. It's actually got like a rubber, rubberized coating on there where that red is. It almost doesn't feel as cheap as the other one felt that came with mine. Mine felt kind of cheap com in comparison to this. Here's the liner. They give you a couple of contact tips for different sizes and there's our drive rolls. Today we're going to be using the regular drive rolls for MIG solid wire and we're going to be testing it out with 035 wire or .09 on the drive rolls if you're looking at metric numbers. So I've got what I needed out of the box. Today we're going to be running 035 wire on mild steel. For our coupons to dial this machine in, we actually have a plasma cut die that will be welding in a cube shape. If you're interested in getting some of these coupons, I'll have a link below to my eBay account where you can purchase these in various sizes as well as other DIY fabrication stuff like gussets and other things like that. If you do plan on ordering from the eBay and you have a large quantity of stuff you want, message me before buying it so that maybe I can help you get the shipping cost down and combine it all together. You can reach out on anything from Facebook to Instagram or my email, which should all be linked in my link tree below. Let's take a look at this front panel real quick. On this right side, you have your wire size selection, which I think is only really going to matter if you're running it on uh, Synergic. MIG mode, which I'm not going to be. I'm going to be running it on manual MIG, which is on this far left side over here. So I'm going to move it up to manual MIG there. And over here we have uh, our selection of gas. So we're going to make sure that's on CO225 Argon 75 since we are running MIG. I'm going to start off at about, let's say, 19 and a half volts. And you use this middle button to change from your volts to your speed. On speed, I'm just going to guess we're going to start at about a 6. And this is in meters per minute, not 
inches per minute, if that doesn't make sense to some of you. That's the thing about these yes welders is they're all in metric. Here are our die coupons. We're just going to use a magnet. Make sure to clean that off first. To set these up for an open corner joint. So we've got it all tacked up here, and now uh, I'm going to put a couple more tacks just so it doesn't separate on us when uh, we start welding on it. So this is going to give me a lot of opportunities to change my settings and see what the difference is between what settings. Here's our first weld, pretty good straight out the box. I think I'm going to turn down the wire feed speed just a hair and see what happens. As the material gets hotter here, I'm starting to lower the voltage just a hair to see if it makes much of a difference as the material gets hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this out the rest of the way and let's see if we can get some arc shots going. As always, Yes Welder never disappoints me. As always, Yes Welder proved they have good budget machines that have very cost effective price points. And like my other Yes Welder equipment, I've beat them to death and they're still alive, outlasting my Lincolns. I've never had to send any Yes Welders in for warranty claims and I've used them quite a bit. Which brings me to another point, I'm going to have a video coming up soon talking about my dilemma with Lincoln and why I won't buy Lincolns anymore. I still have one that you probably saw I took off the cart. Um, that one was in warranty claims for an entire year and I just got it back. We're going to go a little in depth on that on another video. But this is a good choice if you're just getting into welding. Like any other Yes Welder machines, I'll recommend all Yes Welder products just from seeing everything I've used, their plasma cutters, uh, their MIG machines. They may feel a little cheap to touch, like the quality of the actual parts like your whip or the actual housing units on the machines and stuff like that. But the way they actually weld is really, really similar to Lincoln or Miller. It's not much different. If you're interested in purchasing this machine, I'll have a link to the description of either my Amazon affiliates where you can buy it, or you could go straight to their website and get it for 10% off with coupon code WashburnFabCo at checkout. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to do another giveaway at 3,500 subs. I'm not sure what we're giving away yet. It might be a Yes Welder machine, um, might be an Art Captain machine, might be other welding related products. If you have suggestions on what you want to see given away, drop a comment below and let me know. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.